Hi guys, today I'm here to show you how I make some Mandy Henna kit that I got from my local craft store. I went to Michael's and I bought this with a coupon, 50% discount. So if you want to recreate this, you can go to your local craft stores, Michael's, um, AC Moore had these that I saw. Alright, so I've taken everything out of the box. In the box you're going to get your henna powder. In here we have a eucalyptus oil. And here we have a citrus sugar solution. We have our applicator bottle. And in the bag it includes a straight pin with a wooden mixing stick. We have a cotton ball to apply the citrus sugar solution. Um, cotton swab in here in the bag have cotton swabs for wiping away any mistakes you might have and a toothpick for editing the design that we'll be creating now um, here you see the box before I go on I'm going to remove this to the side now it is recommended that when you do this so that you don't stain your hands you use rubber gloves when you're doing the actual um, Mandy. So it, it's we're gonna start doing what the instructions say. The instructions um, that I'm reading are right here. Let me see if I can get it in. I'm going slow just in case if you actually lose your instructions at least you'll have these where you can pause it and read as you go because I've been known to do that um, I'll show you what the um, instructions include it's got some patterns in here it's got different languages English, French, Spanish Espanol and um, that's it right now so we're going to start doing the uh, mixing of this it is recommended here as I'll go reading these all right pour water into the henna powder bottle up to the water line you'll see here you have a water level line so I'm just going to remove this cap here Now I have a little water here and I'm just going to go up to the line. Now it recommends um, mix with the wooden mixing stick. I'll have my granddaughter who's assisting me do it today. Here mama. Put your hands right here so the camera can see you. Just mix that. Now it says here, um, mix thoroughly for five minutes and let the, um, wait a minute, pour the water into the henna powder bottle up to the line, mix with a wooden stick, pour eucalyptus oil into the mixture, so I'll pull that out, it's right here in the bag. Now it says to pour eucalyptus oil into the mixture. So I'm um, depositing all of the oil. All right. Oh, it smells nice. So um, mix thoroughly for 45 minutes. No, sorry guys, I am confusing myself. Mix very thoroughly for five minutes. Let the mixture age for 45 minutes. Stir briefly before use. Use within 24 hours for best results. If it is difficult to squeeze out the paste, the addition, the addition of a few drops of water may be necessary. Thoroughly wash the skin before applying the henna. This removes lotions, body oils, and old skin which can act as a barrier to the henna stain. Apply henna to the skin. 
Uh, gently squeeze the applicator bottle to release the henna. If the tip gets clogged, use the stray pin to remove the debris. Let henna dry on skin 10 to 15 minutes. Moisten, with, moisten the design lightly, applying with sugar citrus solution with a cotton ball. This will set the henna for a long lasting darker color. Do not oversaturate the design with the citrus sugar solution as this will dilute and spread the henna as fine lines will thicken. Once the henna assumes a black or glazy appearance, you can reduce or stop the application of the citrus sugar solution. Leave henna on the skin as long as possible, up to 12 hours for best results. To set and darken the design, Three hours of set time usually results in a darker solid color. Remove the henna with a cotton ball or vegetable oil. Avoid wetting the area for a day. Color, with, color will darken overnight. If you're prone to allergies or have sensitive skin, do not... Oh, wait a minute. If you are prone to allergies or have sensitive skin, do a small test design and wait before proceeding with something more um, elaborate. Good luck and have fun. Okay guys, so we're gonna let this set up and as you can see it's become a a thick pasty, looks like a guacamole mix in here. So we're gonna let this um, sit for 45 minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna use my um, granddaughter as a model. This is what she wanted me to do. She wanted me to um, create on her um, a henna design. So we went ahead and created what she wants to have on her hand, which is going to be a design that's going to start at her wrist, top of her hand, and down her finger. So we'll see you for the next um, tutorial to follow after this one. Thank you for watching.